What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing quick video. Now, you guys say you want comedy on the channel. This is comedy. So, Freddie Roach, seven time Hall of Fame trainer of the year, he just made a startling revelation. And he says that he hates catch weights. Let me read the direct quote. The thing is, I know we're not the only one doing it out there. Anybody who has an opportunity to do it, will i think it's just the way of life right now in boxing whoever thought of it i hate because i don't like catch weights personally i don't like them coming from seven time hall of famer freddie roach or hall of fame trainer because his boxing career wasn't a, a hall of famer to my knowledge um i want to share the ego thoughts on this statement it, it's it's really i mean it, I was to even see an article like this. I was like, "What?" It just makes no sense to me, and it, it's very comical because how can you claim to hate something and then you do it? That's like me getting on here and saying, "Man, I hate man fucking Chris Brown and Mayweather. I hate these woman beaters, stupid woman beaters." And then you hear me in the background, "What, bitch? What'd you say? Mm, you gonna eat the cake? Eat the cake, anime? Eat the cake? You gonna eat the cake? Like you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense to." condemn or or say you hate something and you loathe it yet you're guilty of doing it too so very very hypocritical in my opinion from freddie roach because not only like there's adrian broner he's doing a catch weight with sean porter let's be real um mayweather did a catch weight with canelo but the thing is and i told you i stress this on my channel i'm very consistent i would never call victor ortiz a quitter off of just one occurrence, unless it was just something so extreme that I wouldn't label him that. The reason people call Victor Ortiz a quitter is because he's exhibited quitter-like behaviors or actually quit multiple times, right? He did it versus Maidana. Hey, I'm a young guy. I'm a tree bro. I don't deserve to be getting beat up like this. No mas, basically. Then he had quitter-like behavior in the whole Cito Lopez fight. He actually quit that fight also with a broken jaw, which is understandable. But even before that, he started getting frustrated and he started rabbit punching Josito Lopez. The Mayweather fight, he leaped off his feet to headbutt out of frustration. Those are things that could get you like disqualified and um, points deducted. So to me, that's all quitter-like behavior. You're not showing um, class. You're not being a professional because you're frustrated. You don't know how to handle it and contain it. So you, you do something that's going to possibly cost you the fight. And it did in the Mayweather fight and also Josecito Lopez. Josecito, he was losing, but he kept his composure a bit more and was able to break uh, Ortiz's jaw. So same thing with Freddie Roach. It's not the, the fact that it's just one catch weight. Like to me, Broner, he hasn't made a habit of it. Like the Broner and Porter thing. So I can't just say he's the catch weight king. However, there's some Freddie Roach fighters, and continually, it's a catchweight. Cotto's last two fights were at a catchweight, and he said going forward, they're going to be at catchweights. So that's a little bit different. Pacquiao has multiple fights at catchweights, or some kind of weight stipulation or advantage. Brandon Reels never fought at 47, moved up. Timothy Bradley had been campaigning at 140, one fight at 147 against Luis Carlos Abrego, dropped back down and resided at 140 then he moved back up to face Pacquiao and get that opportunity so it's obviously a strategy that some people implore but I think Roach does it often where there's some type of weight advantage you know what I'm saying and Mayweather does his little things about trying to pull rank and different things like that but to abuse the catch weight thing that to me that's I don't know man I just I don't like the whole catch weights because it's like you're saying you're the best and you're getting credit for a win continually and there's some type of weight leverage you know what i'm saying i just to me it's it's a bit of a gray area you know what i'm saying like pacquiao he he's an eight division champion however he fought for a vacant title against a cheater who probably should have been banned you know what i mean in other sports it would have been banned for life or something and it was at a catch weight you know what i'm saying so it's just i mean like I said, I look at these catchweights on a case-by-case -case basis, and just the fact that Margarito's 5'10", 5'11", late in his career, been through wars, and uh, tough fights like Paul Williams, etc., and then coming down late to a catchweight or Oscar De La Hoya dropping down a, a weight class to meet Pacquiao, who jumped up two weight classes. I mean, these are obviously strategic supreme advantages. So, it is what it is. 
Uh, just let me know what you guys think of Freddie Roach and his catchweight comments. He says he hates him. To me, I just I don't. It doesn't sound like you hate him because you you enlist them often. You know what I mean? So it's like you how you how you gonna hate something and then. It's just like, to, it reminds you of the people that hate Mayweather. They say they hate Mayweather, but they bring him up when no one else is talking about him. Just things like that don't really make sense to me. Maybe you guys can help me understand it. Like the conversation, I'll be like, man, I'm thirsty. I, I could use some sunny delight. There's nothing delightful about Floyd Mayweather. Like, what, what the fuck? Where did Floyd come from? We're not even talking about Floyd. Some people bring him up in heavyweight videos. You're like, man, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, that's a hell of a fight. Yeah, but Floyd's a bitch. He wouldn't fight him. You know what I'm saying? So to me, I, I don't see the whole, I hate something, so I'm going to constantly talk about it, or I hate something, so I'm constantly going to use it. So I, I, I have to call Freddie Roach's bluff on this. I don't think he hates catchweights because you, you wouldn't have this, if I can't beat him, join him attitude. I hate catchweights, but I'm going to do it. Like if you hate woman beaters, then you're not going to become one. You can't be like, oh, it, it's popular. Everyone else is doing it. Like me, I don't have any tattoos, but... I don't really, I'm not, I'm, I'm not even going to say I hate it. I just, I don't, I don't think face tattoos are all that cool. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to talk shit about a face tattoo. I'm like, I hate face tattoos. They're, you can't get a job and this is stupid to get a face tattoo and condemn them. And then next thing you know, you see me with a face tattoo. Like, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that doesn't make sense. So if you hated it, you're not going to necessarily join that movement. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. Mm -hmm.